Ace, what do you reckon? Do you reckon we should finally do this Doctor Who room tour? Yeah, I reckon we should. Okay, so everyone, here we go. We are going to enter the Man Cave, otherwise known as the Doctor Who collection, of course. I don't know why I'm so nervous about doing this, but anyway, here we go. I will shut up for a while and show you around, and then, well, I'll explain about everything that's in this collection room. Here we go. Okay, so starting off the tour with Daleks. We all love Daleks here on this channel. As you can see on the top shelf, we have a lot of classic Daleks, all from the 60s pretty much, from the Dead Planet into the Dalek Invasion of Earth. And as you can see, I've got a few duplicates along the way. Of course, I do like to army build, so there are all those Daleks. And if we scoot back in time, I'll come back round again, we get into the, the third story, the chase, the feature of the Daleks, and that's the second shelf there. We have the chase, and I have a lot of those chase Daleks. And then we have the chase guard Daleks. The original sound effects one is the one that's a bit wonky for some reason, and we have a lot of those. And then we move in, of course, to the power and the evil of the Daleks, with a great, great custom of the Dalek Emperor by Nathan Ward. Again, always shouting you out because I absolutely love that custom. And then on the top of this bookcase here, just underneath the 60s Daleks, we have some of John Pertwee's Daleks into Tom Baker's era of Daleks. And as you can see, there's quite a few of those. Now behind these Imperial Daleks, which are in the way, we have, of course, the Peter Davison collection. And we move across into the Colin Baker collection, Revelation of the Daleks, and there we have some of the uh, remembrance of the Daleks, and of course there's those four Imperials, and of course we'll get to it later on, but I have another 50 odd of these Daleks as well. So if we come back round to the first bookcase, here we have a little setup of the Pyramids of Mars, which I decided to do because simply I just couldn't fit this anywhere else, so I thought, you know what, let's dedicate a whole entire shelf to one story. Why not? 
And randomly next to that is the Jungles of the Mechanist set, brand new in its box. Here we have some lovely Doctor Who, mainly Daypole, uh, leaflets. And they're just fantastic. There's quite a few in there. And I bought this stand from eBay quite some time ago. But if I show you, there are loads and loads of those stacked in all four. And of course, here we have a lovely plush Dalek, Builder Dalek. Shout out to Mark Thomas for basically enabling me to have that. Then we have some brand new, new series Daleks. And, well, I'd say they're brand new, they're a bit old now, aren't they? About 10 years. But we have, of course, the Imperial, the Eternal, the Scientist, Strategist, and a couple of drones. The idea was to army build those drones, and I will do at some point in the future, maybe. Then, if we come down here, we have the First Doctor and Dalek exclusive sets, the colour variant, and also the black and white Comic Con version as well. Let's say they are brand new, mint and sealed in packaging. We have a real-time Colin Baker, which has been signed by none other than Colin Baker himself. And then we have the second Doctor and Cyberman exclusive black and white version, along with the original Silver Nemesis set. Somewhere in this collection, I think I've got the colour version, of the second Doctor and Cyberman as well. And then if we come down here, excuse the mess and excuse the order, because they're not in order, I just have not had time to do it. We have all my Doctor Who DVDs, uh, a few Torchwood DVDs, a maxi bust of a Cyberman, and again, some more DVDs there. And looks like I've been watching the faceless ones and haven't put it back. It's very naughty. And on the bottom shelf, we have some new series hardback novels, which I'm not really too sure at this point what I'm doing with. I know I won't be reading them anytime soon, but uh, yeah, they're there and there's the floor. So what we'll do now is we'll work our way up the next bookcase. And we'll start off with the Ultimate Collection. I absolutely love these, they display really nice. And as you can see, apart from the split there, because it's two bookcases, I have the complete collection going all the way across, which is really nice. Then we have some more Doctor Who DVDs. Again, apologies, they're not in order, and there seems to be one missing. I don't know, it could be anything at this point. If we go up a little further, we have the Dalek Collector Set 2, alongside what would appear to be Hey, talking Cyberman, I'll just peer the camera around and you can see him there. It's actually the stealth version, so the black version. And we have a Dalek from Daypole. And then we have the Coal Hill School set, of course, featuring Ace and Imperial Dalek. And behind, the Witch's Familiar set. You may have noticed that some of this bookcase is really just holding a collection. It's not really technically on display, or not very well anyway. And if we come across here, one of my favourite shelves in the collection, we have the 7th and 4th Doctor's TARDIS set, the original sets. I need to track down the 1st Doctor and TARDIS, of course, to go along with that. And next to that is the latest edition, so far, of the 2nd Doctor and Electronics TARDIS from the abominable, I hate that word, abominable snowmen set. It's just, it's incredible. I love it. And then moving on, we have a lot of Daypole Time Lords. There are four variants in total, red, cream, brown, and gray. And I decided to army build those as well, so they look quite nice. And behind those are some talking sound effects Daleks. We have a Dalek from the Dead Planet, the Chase, Genesis of the Daleks, twice, possibly, maybe that's Day of the Daleks. And then we have the Necros Dalek as well. And if we scroll to the top of this bookcase, well, nearly anyway, the top shelf, we have some more classic Doctors and Daleks. These are the Toys R Us exclusive sets that came out. There we go. The only one I'm missing, actually, is the Seventh Doctor. So I've had to improvise and use him from the B&M set. So they all go hand in hand. And there we have some B&M sets alongside also the Eighth Doctor and his Dalek Alpha. And we've got some character building figures, just because why not? They're fun. And on top of a bookcase, we have some of these pretty cool little guys. As you can see, I'm missing a couple. I'm missing the ninth and the seventh, and also the sixth Doctor. I do have also third, second, and first up there as well. Okay, so then we move on to the third bookcase. Yes, there are a lot of bookcases in this video collection, I can promise you that. So we have here four Imperial Daleks, the one on the left and the two on the right are from the original release with a Seventh Doctor, and the one in the middle, if you like, there just in front of Davros, is the one that came in the Remembrance of the Daleks set, 
and then we have a Dalek Alpha and also a really bad customized Dalek from the Mutation of Time. It was me that did it, it sucks. And a, I don't know why, a Dalek with its top coming off because again, I'm not very good at customizing Daleks. Moving on to the top shelf, we have the, what I call, Sontaran Stratagem. We have basically the Sontarans through the classic years. We've got the Time Warrior Lynx with his spaceship and a few more of them. And then we move on to Steyr as well. Steyr is actually over here with his spaceship alongside loads of them. And then we've got Commander Stike as well from the two Doctors. So that's just like a, a Sontaran army, as you may have noticed. But one of them down there is having a little nap. And then moving on down to the shelf here, we have four character building figures in their glass cases. We have a Destiny of the Dalek set, which has been signed, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome indeed. And then we have the Sixth Doctor, Colin Baker from Real Time. We have the original release of the Eighth Doctor. And then we have some Zabi figures. I don't know what they're doing there, but oh well. There's five of those, and they are from Eagle Moss, and I absolutely love those. That's why I decided to army build those. And behind is the fourth Doctor time capsule set, which came with a plethora of things. Most importantly included was the fourth Doctor regenerated character options action figure. And if we move on down here, we have some Doctor Who video tins. There's the Daleks, the Cybermen, and the Master. And then we have some Daypole. We have a Transmat Dalek with Brown Mutant. Exceedingly rare, that one. And then a lovely early Cyberman as well. And then, moving on down, we have a Dalek Patrol Ship from Character Options with a little pilot inside. We have an unopened set of the Revenge of the Cybermen. And then we have an Invasion Cyberman from the original Collect and Build range. And behind him, there is a assigned Time Crash set with a Top Trumps card, one of the rarer sets that you can get. And then below that is some more Doctor Who DVDs, which actually, I've decided, they are in order. Um, so yeah, that's good. And then down below, we have these excellent books again. They complete the series. I absolutely love the Ultimate Doctor Who Guide. They're just, they're brilliant. And then we have a few more books in the corner there. Then if we come down to this bookcase, we have, well, books for the first time on the bookcase. Now these books are the BBC books, as you can see, there's quite a few of them. They range from anything from classic Doctors to, well, Paul McGann, who technically is a classic Doctor as well. Haven't read any of them, but I will do one day, maybe. <laughs> then we have a Supreme Dalek. This came from a Toys R Us exclusive set. It also came with a Dalek drone as well. And then we have a Special Weapons Dalek, the talking version. And we have the really rare and exclusive set of the Emperor Davros with Destroyed Dalek. Then we have some more of those BBC books, as I mentioned, down here. This Dalek was also included in that Toys R Us exclusive set with the Supreme and the Dalek drone. And then we have some random Daypole Daleks just chilling, guarding the books. And then we have a lovely mint condition, pretty much, uh, Dalek tin, which is the chase and remembrance of the Daleks. And moving on down here, we have some new series figures. I don't have many, but there's a few. We have Dalek Sec Hybrid, Cyberman and Dalek. Uh, I can't even remember his name. Not Dalek Khan, is it? It's the um, Dalek Sec. There we go. And we have some more of those BBC books there as well. And we have a few amazing Doctor Who Virgin Adventure books as well. And they're stacked up just up there. And then we have a maxi bust of Mr. John Barrowman. And if we scroll down a bit lower, we have the brand new Blu-ray releases. We have season 8, 10, 12, 14, 18, 19, 23, 24 and 26. Gosh, there's been quite a few, isn't there? And then we have another special weapons Dalek. This one is not sound effects. This is the original that was released with the Remembrance of a Dalek set. And then we have these really nice Lost in Time or Lost TV episode CDs. And we have the Ice Warriors video box set alongside the Five Doctors and the King's Demons. Moving on down here, we have a lovely little TARDIS ceramic cup. We have some audio adventures on cassette. And we have some Doctor Who books and stuff just going on there. We have a load of Target books at the back as well. And on the bottom shelf, we have some Dalek Rollermatics, 
and we have some comic books which came with a Doctor Who Ultimate Guide collection. We have this customised <laughs> Daleks in Sand. I know it's weird but I, I quite like it. And then we also have the Dalek cookie jar which is here alongside the TARDIS cookie jar as well. Both looking amazing. Okay, so now we move on to one of my favourite parts of a collection, and I say that a lot as well. This is the top of my IKEA glass cabinets. Now, what I'm going to do is just show you what's on top of all four of these cabinets. As you can see, there is quite a lot to get through. So we have, first of all, a Doctor Who War Games video from, I think it's America. And then we have the John Pertwee cutout with a Reaper from Eagle Moss. We have the exclusive Big Finish sets. These are the ones that were only available for about 10 minutes. I have all of those. The other one is just hiding behind that picture of Tom Baker. We have some 13th Doctor figures there from Kaiwai. Kiwai, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. And then we move on to the Product Enterprise Movie Daleks. I absolutely love these. You've got the black, the red, and two blues, which are in fact slightly different. Let's see if you can spot the differences. And then we have a Daypole self-adhesive transfer hanging on the claw. Now, if we go into this glass cabinet here, I'll try not to get the glare on you. You've got some more micro movie talking Daleks. And we've got the gold, the silver, and also the red one. And I believe if we have a little look down there, we've also got Bessie alongside a Dalek cook chiller. I think that's what it's called. Uh, from the 60s. Probably my oldest item, actually, and it's just hidden away. That needs to be uh, needs to be sorted and remedied. And then if we move up here, we have the Daleks Army set from Daypole, alongside a lot of the older style Daypole Daleks. Again, more Daypole Daleks in a glass case, more Daypole Daleks. The one in the middle looks very yellowed. He needs to uh, be taken out. And some more Daypole Daleks with the Third Doctor, the Master and the Seventh Doctor. And then we have a recent addition, these lovely Corgi Daleks, of which I have quite a few. And we've just missed a few more Daleks here. These are the character options, 3.75 inch range, which I quite like actually. I think the Daleks in that form, pretty good. And then we have some more, sorry about the glare, Daleks from Daypole in the cabinets. As you can see, there's about 20 or so, or maybe even more of those on top. We have some character options again, 3.75 inch range Daleks, although I challenge it because that is not 3.75 inches, it's bigger, it's the Supreme Dalek, it's more like 4 inches. Anyway, let's uh, let's carry on. And then we have these amazing special editions from Eagle Moss. We have a K1 robot, the Wirren, the Melka, Drafroda robot. We've got Yetis, Crotons, we've even got a Mechanoid down there with the Dalek Supreme or the Dalek Emperor. And we've also got, the, his name has left me, what is his name? Um... It will come back to me. We have the fourth Doctor Wave 1 from the original release. And a lovely picture there of Daleks and Davros. And we then have some random stuff. We have Jodie Whittaker sitting on top of the brand new 13 Doctors box set, which I've got. Another Dalek there from Product Enterprise. Some Doctor Who trading cards and some strange bobblehead things. <laughs> Christopher Eccleston, we've got Bill Potts and the 12th Doctor there. We've got these lovely talking Daleks from Product Enterprise, and there are some Eagle Moss sets just behind as well. Moving down, we've got Plainville, we've got the Fourth Doctor, and Talking Canine and Cyberman, also from Product Enterprise, with another one of the Talking Daleks, and we've also got the Dragon from the uh, story Dragonfire. We have the latest edition here of a second Doctor with his TARDIS, I love that. Little mug there, there's Talking K9. We've got a Daypole Fourth Doctor, some more Corgi Daleks, an Eagle Moss TARDIS, a lovely plate, and we've got a little fridge magnet there from Longleat, and the second Doctor, as I mentioned, who just looks absolutely stunning. I wish they had released all of them, that would have been great. And a little TARDIS there, not actually Doctor Who, but it's a police box, it's all good. And, oh yes, of course, I've remembered, it's Agador. So now we take a trip inside the glass cabinets. We have the early Daleks gift set originally, coming with a mutant scoop, pyro flame, and a seismic detector, and a plunger. But I decided to army build these because I absolutely love them. 
And there's a promotional leaflet about them as well. As you can see, they're 21 years old. That's crazy. And then we have Daleks from the Jungles of the Mechanus set. Got a brand new one, and I've got a few of the Daleks that have been opened and displayed. And when we move on down to this shelf here, it is a bit of a mess, I'm not gonna lie. We have a Daypole Dalek on top. We have some more big finish sets from B&M. We have a sound effect talking Dalek. No, it's a TARDIS. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. Lovely image there that I got recently from Forbidden Planet. We have some Daleks, again, really from Daypole with K9. We've got Sylvester McCoy looking very unhappy down there. Ice Warrior. These two uh, boxes here are the five Doctors sets with Blue Boots Dalek, which you've seen in previous videos. And the reason that this is a bit of a mess is simply because I just haven't got the space to, to put it anywhere, which is really sad. And then we have one of my favourite parts, and that's all these lovely Doctor Who trading cards. There's too many to mention, but as you can see, they're all looking rather nice. Some of them are sealed and not been opened, whereas others have been. But uh, have a little look down there, and hopefully you'll find something that you'll find fascinating and then we have the gold shelf that's what i call it anyway i've got all my gold colored daypole figures we've, we've got christmas canines we've got unfortunately a very broken dalek there we've got some more daypole daleks the gold davros gold ice warriors more daleks up there really rare canine still in his packaging and of course the 35th anniversary set as well featuring the gold davros again and if i take you down here We've got some really awesome stuff. We've got the Daleks from the day with Tom Baker. We've got some Cancer Research Daleks and Christmas Daleks as well. Four of those, which is really incredible. Love them. We have a signed TARDIS, a day with Annika Wills, and a very, very rare Dalek there from one of the conventions. Down below here, we have another Dalek army set with another Dalek and Five Doctors boot set. Some rare Daleks there. Gold Ice Warrior, and a few more lovely little rare Daleks, and another Cancer Research Dalek as well. Now, down below, we have a little display of the Depot TARDIS and console with some strange looking Daleks, some Tetraps, and at the back there, we've got a lovely First Doctor Plinth that was actually released also by Depot, and the TARDIS is still working, but there isn't any batteries in there at the moment. But you can see there, it just looks amazing. I really, really love this little set. Always have. And then we have my big chief collection, which at the moment is just the eighth Doctor. But don't worry, the sixth Doctor, the Master and the Third Doctor are on their way. We've got the exclusive Paul McGann rare figure from Toys R Us. We have a Torchwood figure. We have some black and white Doctor Who figures with a Daypole Dalek as well. Down below, we have really just another collection of Daypole stuff. We've got Millennium Daleks. We've got a really rare Dalek there from the Antiques Roadshow. Then all sorts of bits of Daypole memorabilia here, really. And this is the Dalek from the Night of Doctor Who on BBC Two. And a Dalek mug, some Time Lords, a yo-yo, key rings, badges. You name it, it's probably in here somewhere. Another TARDIS with a Day with Tom Baker on it, which is really nice. You can also just about make out at the back. That is the fourth Doctor cardboard cutout. Poor guy is behind there. You can see him again. And here we have my little Daleks. These are tiny. These are Dalek Rollomatics and also some of the talking Daleks from the company Product Enterprises. You can see the ones on the top are a little bit yellowed. I'm working on it, but uh, for now, the white ones look white and the white ones up there just don't. And below that is a lovely cyber helmet with some more Doctor Who videos, I believe from America, just because I love the style of the packaging on those, I decided to keep them in there. So that is that glass cabinet complete. And then moving on to the fourth cabinet, the final glass cabinet, we have some more rare Daypole Daleks and Destiny of the Doctor's PC game. And then we have some Daleks from the Rollickin era of Product Enterprise, a medal, Dalek Attack, loved that game as a kid and some lovely clockwork Daleks as well. And then we have my Corgi collection, some more Cybermen, more Daleks, Davros, Fourth Doctor. There's a rare set there that's still boxed. And we have some character options Daleks as well, as well as the Bluebird, kind of Mighty Max Polly Pocket Dalek set, love it. 
with some more corgi figures there and this is it again but brand new mint sealed in its packaging and if we go down below and by the way i just love those cybermen they look amazing i don't know if anybody else has army built corgi cybermen but i have <laughs> scrolling on down with some more random stuff here a tardis with jelly babies inside it we've got a load of these little tiny product enterprise daleks with another cup and a few random bits there Inside of here, we have some great product enterprise stuff. One day I will review this and show you because it's something I find fascinating. We have some Dalek medals and then we have some Doctor Who medals behind there and another rare Dalek signed by Deborah Watling. We miss her and a few more cool things down there. And then on this bottom shelf, some more TARDISes. We've got some Transmat TARDISes. We've got four exclusive Black Cybermen from the day with Fraser Hines and Annika Wills. And again, the TARDIS is, that one is a standard one. And this one here with its certificate is a rare one. And also the one there, it says Tempest Fugit, that's rare too. And the 35th anniversary one as well. So that is it for the glass cabinets. Let's move on to the Kallax. Okay, so now the moment, but maybe some of you have been waiting for my classic character options action figures. Before we show you those though, I'm gonna jump to the top of the shelf and you can see some more 12 inch Daleks at the top and a lot of different Eagle Moss Daleks as well. And then we move into some classic Doctors with their classic TARDISes all along there. And actually behind those are all the boxed versions of each one. Uh, I just like to keep things in their boxes sometimes. And I have some Eagle Moss Cybermen to build up an army. Some Silurians and Sea Devils to boot. And then if we jump on over here, we have an army of war machines and the jungles of a Mechanus set. A couple of those packed away there. There's a terribly customized TARDIS by me. And I'm just going to show you above the window. Um, there's a mandrel as well, randomly. Above the window, we have some Daleks, of course. The Imperial Daleks. There's a few gaps there. Imperial Daleks from... A remembrance of the Daleks and if we carry on going down here we have all the new B&M sets that have been released over the years boxed up and nice and neat on the shelf and some more big finish CDs here with a third Doctor statue bust and as I say big finish CDs kind of go all the way down down there basically so let's move on to the classic character options action figures part so here we go, we have the first Doctor of course, mainly 10th Planet Cybermen, alongside some Mechanoids and some Robomen. I can't wait for the Sensorite set to come out. As recording this video, they still haven't been released. Really annoying. Then we have the second Doctor's collection, again, mainly Cybermen. We've got Invasion Cybermen, Tomb Cybermen, and a few Ice Warriors there. A nice little custom Ice Warrior to go with it. Okay, and then we move into the Third Doctor's era, of course. We've got the Third Doctor alongside Autons, Axons, Sea Devils, Brigadiers, Unit Troops, The Master, Joe Grant, Jail Guards, Omega, Drashig. It's pretty, pretty cool. And of course, Bok. Mustn't forget Bok. Uh, that's the Third Doctor era. So I did decide to army build my Unit Troops. So there's a few there, as you can see. And then we have a few more over here with my giant maggot collection. Really proud of that. Don't know why, but yeah, I love it. And down here, we have a nice warrior sleeping, and you can see that I've tried using Glutac, and he still fell over. Sontaran, Sarah, an Ice Lord customized figure. Absolutely brilliant. Believe it or not, that used to be an Axon Man. It's, yeah, incredible. Shout out, Nathan. And then we move on to my fourth Doctor Era shelf. For some reason, Sutek is also taking a nap with a Zygon, and that Zygon looks like he's about to go too. But we've got some Revenge Cybermen there, K1 Robots on Tyron, Sarah. You may be wondering, where's Harry? Well, I can tell you now that uh, Harry Sullivan is an imbecile, because he's on the floor. I, I just, yeah, I just can't even be bothered to pick him up at this point. He falls over so much, he can stay there for a while. So then we move on to the later era of the Fourth Doctor. We've got lots of Vok robots. Fendaline, Ragnar's Grill, Mr. Sin, Master, Leela, Crinoids, a few companions in there as well. Not forgetting the old Crispy Master as well. Got a few pods as well for the Seeds of Doom. I do love that story. 
Moving on to the Fifth Doctor's era, we've got basically Cybermen and Fifth Doctors. Don't know why John Pertwee suddenly got there. I'm beginning to think that my toys are alive and they're moving. That's really quite creepy. But yeah, the Third Doctor standing there rather randomly. And moving on, we have the Sixth Doctor's era. Again, Cybermen. We've got Seal this time, which is pretty cool. A couple of uh, versions of Colin Baker and Perry. And some Sontarans with the Sixth Doctor as well. As you can see, the Sixth Doctor's era is a little bit empty. It needs filling up. But it's not as bad as this era. The Seventh Doctor's era really hasn't been given them much justice at all. We've got an invasion of Cybermen from the Silver Nemesis. Mainly from the B&M sets, but I've got a couple of the originals. And we've got the Seventh Doctor, of course, with Ace. And if we move on down, we've got some Eagle Moss. And... These haven't been displayed very well, have they? He's facing the wrong way. And there's new series in there as well, but yeah, I didn't really have a space for that, so that's why they're there. One of my recent purchases for 13 Doctors box set. It is absolutely incredible, and there are all the 13 Doctors. Although, why is there a gap between 3 and 4? I couldn't tell you. So yeah, there we go. All the Doctors standing together. Do my Eagle Moss collection. The first Doctors era looking amazing. The second Doctor's era looking just as good. Alongside, of course, Doctor number three. There we go. The third Doctor's era, which is actually on two shelves because it's a little bit larger and longer. And then we have the fourth Doctor's era. Here we go. All of those up there. And a few more in there. Another mandrel, randomly. I do love these Eagle Moss figures. And here we have the fifth Doctor's era as well. And if you scroll down slowly, there is the Sixth Doctor's era, looking a bit empty. But again, it's just one of those things. We then get to the last sets of Eagle Moss figures, and that is the Seventh Doctor's era. They all look amazing. And finally, we have some big finish slash Paul McGann movie stuff going on in there as well. Again, I haven't really finished that collection, it's just kind of there for now. Okay, and then we move on to the rarest part of my collection. It's the Daypole Daleks that I have that are pretty rare at this point. Um, we'll get through that in just a sec. But on top of this cabinet, you can see I have the four 12-inch movie Daleks from Product Enterprise. I absolutely love those. Behind there is a Doctor Who... Well, there's obviously a poster up on the wall there. And behind the black and white picture is a Dalek Mania video case. And then we have some of these Daypole Daleks. These are Friction Drive. We've got red ones and gold ones. Some grey and silver, black and white ones on top, simply because I have no space for them at this point. And then inside the first part of a glass cabinet, we have these Daleks. So the ones at the back are the brown and black Daleks, which all came in the special set, which was the Daleks Army set, and that was the special Dalek that you got. Later on, they released the all grey one as well, and we'll get to those in just a little bit. And then we have a gold and black Dalek, two of them in fact. They came with the third Doctor set, and then we've got these blue and black Daleks, which came also with a fourth Doctor set. But notice that they're actually a little bit different. That one there has a black trim. And underneath there, we have my All-American Daleks. Two of those are carded, and five of those are loose, and then four Cancer Research Daleks. I mean, hopefully, this speaks for itself, and it just looks as good in real life as it does on the camera. But there we go. There are those Daleks. Okay, so then we move on to the Transmat Daleks, of which I have, well, quite a few. I've got six at the back, and I've got another six in the front with the rarer one with the brown mutant. That's the second version that I have of that. So there are all my lovely Transmat Daleks. Absolutely love them. Down below here, we have my Boots Daleks. We've got two that are carded on the rainbow card and five that are loose. And then we have nine of these green and silver Daleks, which again came in the Seven Doctors action figure collector set that Daypole did. So Daleks, by the way, I've literally gone ahead and bought the set Take the Dalek out, bought another set, took the Dalek out, etc, etc. So that's how I was able to build such a, a large and, well, I think quite impressive, if I do say so myself, this is my pride and joy, um, Dalek collection. And if we move down to this shelf here, or this cabinet, we have a whole load of early Cybermen. 
you can see them po posing you can see them posing there i absolutely love those also got the second doctor there these did all come with a stand for some reason these two don't have their stand we've got another friction drive dalek there and we've got some canines at the back there that are carded and some more canines all different versions of canine relatively speaking anyway on the top as well let me move on to some more friction drive dialects i've got some carded at the back there but i've also got these lovely dialects that just sit quite nicely in front all different of course all different colors and if we move on up we have these dialects here now there are actually some missing but i'll explain that in a second the ones here with the gold kind of trims they're special dialects that came in different doctor sets and this one here, and also the one up there, is the all-silver Dalek that I was talking about earlier. The one that later on basically replaced the brown and gold Dalek in the Dalek Army set. Now, the reason I only have two of those out on display is because I've decided to actually box up some of my Daleks, my Daybol Daleks, anyway. So I have six or seven Dalek Army playsets with... Well, that Dalek in as well as a special Dalek, that's why there's a gap at the moment. It's a work in progress. Pretty much wraps up the video, you guys. You've pretty much seen every single Doctor Who item within my collection, and hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been a long one. I've certainly enjoyed making it, but guess what? I'll do it all again sometime, I'm sure, when I add more Doctor Who things to the collection. But until then, you know exactly what you've got to do. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you all again for another Doctor Who video very soon here on my channel. See you later. Thank you to everyone for watching another one of my Doctor Who videos. I fucking love you all. I do want to say a massive thank you to my VIP patrons of Mark Thomas, Chris TJ, Sammy the Dalek and Ben Taylor. And also thank you so much to all of my other patrons, Cybershade1, Boston Stew, Ryan Costa, Dalek Boss, Jeffrey16, James Griffin, Andrew23, Third Doctor John, Tiny Tower Kid, Flawless Reactor, Time Kid88, Cyber Daleks, Gary Humbert, Simon Taylor, Penny and Amber, Samson Cole, and Bev Richards. Thank you all so much for your contributions. You guys are helping keep this channel alive.